Welcome to rebuilding a model steam plant part 48. Fitting and piping the water tower took longer than anticipated and when I started to fill it with water I noticed there was a small drain pipe fitted and also the hand pump leaked. The top cap of the water tank is held in place by four magnets but alas one of them had fallen off. I've temporarily fitted it back in place, here it is. The magnet was originally held to the underside of the cap using epoxy resin. As this magnet fits precisely in what's left of the epoxy resin, I thought it was a good idea just to super glue it back in place. This is what I did, and in this clip I'm holding the magnet securely in the correct position until the super glue grabs. That's one little job out of the way, and although this has nothing to do with the water tower, I'm fitting these cups in the baseboard. They catch oil droplets from various places. They're just imitating drains, but in actual fact, as you can see, they are not drains, they are just little cups. A syringe is going to be needed to clear the condensate from these parts. In this aerial view of the plant, as you can see, they do actually look quite nice even though they are not fully functional as drains. It's time now to pipe the pump to the water tank. And first of all I'm removing this pipe adapter because I don't need it. Before I start the piping process I think it's a good idea to mount the tank in place on the baseboard. This is done using four brass screws and I notice on a couple of them they move the bottom crossbar which isn't fully attached to the uprights. But it should be OK, it does seem rigid enough. This long piece of PM Research brass tubing attaches to the elbow at the bottom of another long piece of brass tubing from the tank. To make it easy to screw the part in and out, I've fitted a nut onto the end of the pipe and I'm using a socket driver. In the water circuit from the water tank, I'm going to use this T-piece to allow me to fit a valve into the circuit to drain the tank. Here I'm marking the pipes with a felt tip pen where I need to cut them to allow the fitting of the T-piece and some flexible silicone rubber tubing. All water pipe connections, be them hot or cold, are always fitted using Loctite 542 to avoid leaks. With the piping cut to size, the first job is to tighten this piece of pipe into the T-piece at the bottom of the main feed from the tank. Now I turn my attention to the T-piece, I need to re-thread it to take a British fitting. It would appear that the USA quarter by 40 pitch is not the same as the British one. I'm holding the part with my Barco pipe wrench, which is a great piece of kit. I've had this for ages, and I don't know why I don't use it more often. It's very good and very strong. I'm very well made. Just like a girlfriend I used to have when I was much younger than I am today. Please note, as I tighten this tap in position, the damage is not done by the Barco spanner, it's just the paint that's come off. Once again I'm using the wrench to hold the centre water pipe solid, while I push a piece of silicone rubber tubing onto the end of it. The piece of silicone rubber tubing is fitted to the tube extension on the T-piece at the other end. All I need to do now is tighten the quarter by 40 nut to securely hold the piece of copper pipe that goes from here to the check valve. Time now to put some water into the tank. Is it going to leak? Um, yes it is, but not where I expected. I've fitted a reasonable sized drain tap, but originally on the water tank there was a very tiny tap fitted onto the end of a very thin piece of pipe. I removed this, plugged up the hole and filled the water tank with water. Now it's time to see if the pump works. As I move the pump back and forth, the water level diminishes. This is running at a higher speed of course. I used some lubricating oil on the pump ram, but unfortunately the pump ram is leaking water. It would appear that whoever assembled this pump didn't really understand the principle of a stuffing gland because all I could find was some PTFE tape around the thread and an O-ring not doing anything at all. I removed the stuffing gland nut to find out there wasn't any packing in the gland and I packed it with graphited yarn and here I'm re-tightening the nut. 
it is very important not to have the gland packing material too tight. Initially, getting this gland nut back into the pump was difficult, but by applying a screwdriver blade in the gap between the pump handle and the nut, by using the pump handle I could apply pressure on the nut to make sure that it engaged the thread. Not forgetting to back it off a quarter of a turn after I tightened it. Now the pump isn't leaking, I can blow away all the water that ran out of it. I left the o-ring in position for no particular reason, just to remind me that this is not the way to do it. I think it's time to fill the boiler, but first of all I'm filling the water tank nearly to the top. And now with the video running at a high speed, you can clearly see that as I move the pump handle, the water level in the tank drops. As the water level in the tank decreased, the water level in the boiler increased, and here's the water gauge showing it doing just that. Once again the video is still running at 400%, and you can see the water climbing up the glass rapidly. While I was making the video I was concentrating on that and not watching what I was doing, so I did overfill the boiler slightly. Here I'm using my Proxon blowtorch to light the boiler, and there's no great explosion, it just lights. In fact, because there was no explosion, I thought I would check whether it was lit. It seemed like a good idea to do this, it's better to be safe than sorry. Yes, I can definitely confirm that the burner is lit, and it's running almost silently. It's time for the steam test, and that will take place in the next episode. Now the boiler plant is complete, it's a bit fragile, and the problem is, I don't have anywhere to put it, and I need the space for the next job. Where I think where to put it, the steam plant I mean, all I have to say is stay safe, stay healthy, thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Main Steam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists you can actually watch the videos back to back.